What's up everyone, this is JR Production X and I got a review for you guys of the 3.5 inch internet clock radio. So let's get started. Here's everything you get inside the box. You get the manual, stylus, microfiber cloth, wall outlet, and a USB cord with mini with mini USBs. So you can hook it up to the clock radio and you can add photos, pictures, or movies. And you get the clock radio itself. Alright, here's the device itself. It is sitting on the nightstand right now. It has a 3.5 inch touch screen. The resolution is 320 by 240. Alright, let's just take a look at the hardware. On top we have a big snooze button. On the right side we have volume control and forward and power button. On the left side we have a SD card slot. And on back we have two speaker grills and a mini USB charging port and a reset button. Just spending some time with the internet clock radio. I really got the time to see how it really is. Right here is the home screen. You have the clock right here. Where it just brings you to the clock. Press this little home button right here. Files where you put your SD card slot and it just brings it up. Network. Just to set up the network. Radio. My playlist is empty. You could choose through stations and stations of radios. They have a a whole lot and this is just the tip of the iceberg it goes down for several minutes you can find all the music you want just the little back button weather just gives you a three day forecast you go settings this is where you set up the date and time the hour format you can change the clock to digital you have two alarms they can set daily weekend or weekdays you can import music from your SD card slot. You can change a couple of the settings. You can put Fahrenheit, Celsius, all the basics, you know. Just a little walkthrough of the software. You can also wake up to your favorite song. If the internet app provides the latest update information, display your digital photo on 3.8 inch LCD screen. After using this for a couple weeks, I have a couple flaws with this. For one, there's no brightness, so if you do have this in your room, it's more like a night light for like a little kid more than a clock radio because I found I tend to find myself laying it down like this when it's, when I'm going to sleep so it won't wake me up. And that's a major flaw. Another another flaw I found is that it's hard to touch using the touch screen like up here. I'm trying to press the clock and you really can't use your fingers for this, you really have to use a stylus which gets pretty annoying. Another flaw is that it has only 128 megabytes of storage so you have to put in an SD card slot if you really want to customize your clock radio like you want to put a couple songs on it and a couple wallpapers it's going to be filled with the internal storage so you're going to have to put an SD card slot in which is going to cost more money and it's already at a high price of $99 which I think is not worth it. All in all I think this would make a great desktop clock and radio but for an alarm clock I would definitely not recommend it there's other devices out there that work 20 times better than this such as any iHome I think with a couple of tweaks this could be a great device but until then I would recommend do not buy it that was my review of the Altis 3.5 touchscreen internet clock radio